Hello everyone, I'm back with episode four in our Sassy in Five learning series, where we share everything sassy in five minutes or less. With over 25,000 views combined in our first three episodes, it's clear that this free learning is being valued. If you guys continue to watch, we'll continue to produce. When we came up with this idea, the purpose wasn't to market Ariaka's unified Sassy as a service offerings, but rather truly focus on an educational series trying to bring some clarity around all the moving pieces of this fast converging network and security landscape. If you've been listening to the episodes, you'll realize Sassy means different things to different people. Sassy journeys look different for most as well. Solutions can be complex and even require outside consultants to assist with implementation and integration. At Ariaka, our day one Sassy vision was different. All the product development and engineering was centered on the core tenet of helping customers simplify their secure network access journey. So in today's episode, we're not gonna focus on the end result. Instead, we'll focus on the first step. A very simple first step, but a necessary one. When you build a new house and you're ready to break ground, the very first step is to put in a solid foundation. Every building has to have a solid foundation. You compromise the integrity of the structure. Same with SASE. SASE all starts with networking. SD-WAN is the foundation to SASE. Having a high-performing SD-WAN network architecture to ensure critical application performance is key. The better performing, better your foundation. The more robust, more reliable, better your foundation. In fact, this is such an important factor that Del Oro highlights this as the first and the most important common challenge. Remember, we talked about the four common challenges in episode two. Well, the first common challenge is too much focus on security to the detriment of networking. So what does a high-performing SD-WAN solution look like? It's not merely an edge appliance, but rather a combination of an SD-WAN edge plus an intelligent, optimized, and software-defined global private backbone. Combined, these two network elements can provide the reliable foundation enterprises need to successfully achieve their SASE goals. There's a reason why MPLS was the WAN standard for 20 plus years. The reliability and QS capabilities is what enterprises could trust to run their networks on. We know that's largely obsolete technology today with the sheer amount of SaaS being consumed by everyone. A high performing SD-WAN must have great availability. Five nines core network uptime and even four nines at the site level our SLA service providers are expected to achieve. And that can be difficult at times with internet only connectivity. Consider the combination of both an edge solution plus a private network underlay in order to shore up the best possible network foundation. Another critical element most companies find mandatory is managed services. And one size certainly does not fit all in that department. Network engineers should be allowed to focus on more critical business related projects and not the plumbing. Get someone else to take that headache away. Get experts who do this daily. Don't slow your people down by making them do a task, which other people can do more efficiently. Although you don't want them to manage all the network elements, you do want them to have the visibility and control when necessary. So an easy to use dashboard where they can inspect everything is critical. Co-management is something that's evolving in the SASE world as well. Service providers are continuing to invest development dollars into better user interfaces. Those UI improvements are offering customers more self-service change control. So you can have your cake and eat it too. Leverage the managed services for the, for the mundane day-to-day -day tasks, but implement the real-time changes you need from your single pane of glass without leaning on the MSP. Hopefully you found something interesting here that can help you in your sassy journey. We'll continue to dive deeper on future episodes. Feel free to reach out to us with any questions you may have. One of our sassy experts would love to talk to you as consider solutions for your business. I'm Ryan Livesey with the Ariaka Networks. Thanks for watching.